across this land of schemes where once there was a hopeful dream. Lady Liberty, from sea to shining sea. I can't see the freedom for the free. Hi, this is Bob with We Prepare Now. And uh, just so you know a little bit about what we do is our company hosts a blog and a form on our website at weprepareadnow.com. Uh, we blog about different things. We try to get in at least one blog a day with the exception of weekends. We also have a form on the very top part of the screen that you can click on and join in the discussion. Uh, a little bit about what we do is we like to meet up with individuals in the Indiana region and get group trainings put together. Our trainings could be anywhere from dehydration to water purification to advanced first aid. Uh, anything the group sees fit and a lot of times what we're going to try to do is bring in local experts on reviewing some products or review a skill or technique that maybe a local expert knows how to do for the group. And these trainings are generally free unless we've got to pay that expert. Um, so please you know, join our blog, join our, our forum, get in the group discussion and uh, you know, take a look at our product reviews on YouTube. As far as about our parent company our parent company is Indiana Safety and Health, and you can find them at indianasafetyandhealth.com, and that's all spelled out. And Indiana Safety and Health provides CPR and first aid training to the central Indiana region uh, and throughout Indiana, and it provides, again, just basic CPR and first aid and issues certification cards. Indiana Safety and Health, by the way, trains about 2,000 people a year, and they're uh, you know, again, I'm one of the instructors there, and we're very, we love what we do. We love to come out and help people get certified in those type of trainings. So please stop by at either site, uh, weprepareadnow.com or indianasafetyandhealth.com. We'd love to see you there, and thanks for watching. Hi, this is Bob with We Prepared Now, and today what I'm going to review is three different ways to carry a firearm, and this is just a handgun only, in a automobile. I've got three different ways I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, I'm not going to say one's better than the other. Um, it's, that's for you to decide. But I am going to try to point out some pros and cons of each one. So without further ado, we'll get into the review. Hi, this is Bob with We Prepared Now. And I'm going to show a couple different ways to secure a handgun to a vehicle. Now there's several different ways. And I'm going to show you three ways that I like. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to you on how you do this. But a little bit about gun safety, you notice my finger's off the trigger. Uh, this gun does have, this is a uh, Ruger SR9C. I'll do a review on that later probably. But it's unloaded. Right now there's not one in the chamber. But just for safety, I'm going to eject the magazine while I do this review. And you can see there's no ammo in the weapon. Also, I'm going to go ahead and turn the safety on. So there's no ammo on the weapon, the safety's on, and the magazine has been ejected. Now the first review I'm going to do is of this uh, holder that goes below the steering wheel. There's a clip above it and a clip below it. And basically uh, this holder does not come with the actual uh, gun pouch so you have to have one of these on your own but basically you just put it in here and then you can snap it in um, what I like about this gun holder is it's actually easy to reach for in case there is an emergency it will come undone with one snap and that's one of the advantages of this the disadvantage or I guess it could also be considered an advantage advantage is it does not come with a um, carrying case with it. You have to have your own carrying case or your own actually holster, um, which I guess can be a benefit, can be a hindrance, depends on your take on it. But this is, this is one review of that. And you can see basically uh, to get it out, I would unsnap it and then I can pull it out. Again, what's nice about this is it's quick access. Okay, another nice alternative would be to have a specific holster 
In this case, I have a Phobus FUBUS holster for my handgun, and I've got it basically clipped in the back right here, as you can see. So, to right clip it, I would just basically lift up on it, and I have it unclipped. As you can see, all this is is just a basic gun holder and I have it clipped in the back. What's kind of nice about this is two things. Number one, it is less expensive than a steering wheel holder. And number two, it's specific to the weapon, to the handgun, and I can also unclip it and put it on my belt for when I go in the store or I'm out and about and stuff like that. So that's, that's two things nice about that. And you can see, to get the back in the clip, I would just clip it in and I'm gonna keep it in the back. Okay, and the last type of car gun holder that I like is one that you just basically keep it locked all the time. This is an example of one. I've changed the combination. You can change these combinations. I've changed it so no one knows what my true combination is, but basically it unlocks. You can see right here, I've got a, uh, a uh, cord and that cord is connected under my seat. It just kind of loops over on itself. And therefore, when you have it locked up, what I do is I put it under my seat and no one should be able to steal it. This gun holder actually has a lot of room in it. When I have a clip in the weapon, remember I don't have a clip right now for safety reasons, but when I do have a clip in the weapon, I can fit a clip, my second clip, and also uh, like a knife. Basically, this just locks up. You can see right here that cord is protected when it locks up and it's not going anywhere. This is kind of nice for when you're traveling with the family or with some other occupants and you don't want your gun out uh, where someone can see it or reach it. So again, in summary, which holder do I like the best? Personally, I kind of like the one that's below the steering wheel for a couple reasons. Number one, easy to access in case you need it. Two, it's right there. You don't have to worry about reaching behind you and getting something. And number three, you don't have to worry about a combination. However, the one behind the back seat that I showed you earlier, the Phobos holster, and again, you can get that anywhere. Um, that's nice because it's cheaper. And also you can put the holster on your side and use that when necessary. Lastly, the last one I like is when I'm traveling with my family, I don't like to have my handgun out and I like to keep it locked up and that's what I do. That's what's nice about that last hold, that last, it's kind of a, a car gun safe. And what's nice also about it is you can actually change the combination later if needed. Um, one question that comes up is if I get pulled over by a police officer, should I let them know I'm carrying a handgun? And at the end of the day, that's a personal choice. What I would say is, as a professional courtesy, I have nothing to hide. I'm gonna let the officer know that I do have a handgun in my car and it's locked up. If it's below my steering wheel, I'm gonna keep my hands on the 10 and two position and let the officer know that I have a handgun, it's below my steering wheel, and my hands are on the 10 and two position. And again, that's just as a professional courtesy. I know the law doesn't require you at this point to let them know uh, if you have a gun permit. I do have a concealed carry gun permit. I'd recommend everyone get one of those and I'd recommend you get a lifetime gun permit because that's gonna be uh, cheaper in the long run. Again, uh, those are just three things I'd like to show you. If you have any other, other ideas or you'd like us to post something, please go to our forum to discuss it. Until next time, thanks for watching. We prepare now.com. Look across the fields of hope where millions died and patriots screamed for better lives for future men, the pursuit of happiness and dreams. Watch the flag be torn to shreds, the Constitution left for dead, and tell me of this dream called liberty. Because I can't see the freedom for the free.